This is Real Talk USA with a Real Estate Guy. Today's show is all about your annual home physical, not only annually, but what you need to do on, on you know, throughout the year while you own your home. We're talking with Rick Hammond again, our AC expert. Rick, when should we tune up our systems, and what should we what should we expect from that tune up? When your best time to tune them up is truly before summer comes, so okay. you do it in like April, May for the summer tune up. And then for the winter time, you do it in like October or November and beginning of December for your winter tune-up. Okay. But you should, when you get a tune-up, you should, like I say, you should expect at least 45 minutes to an hour per system. Right. They should tighten all your electrical connections, check your amp draws, your compressors and your fans. And okay. test your capacitors under load. And then they also should check the refrigerant levels in the system. And then... They should clean the outdoor coil nice. and inspect the indoor coil to make sure it's clean and that it's working properly and giving you proper airflow. When should we change our filters and what do they actually do? And is there a right or wrong type of filter when you go to put it in your unit? Okay. Filters should be changed once a month. An easy way to remember is when you pay your electric bill, you change your filter. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I like that. I like I have that. power. I pay in advance. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Set a reminder on your phone. There you go. Um, and the th- filters vary. And what filters do is they trap the dust particles to keep the air cleaner in your house and right. keep the indoor coil clean so okay. it doesn't reduce the airflow. Okay. So these little blue fiberglass filters and right. stuff, in the business we call them a rock catcher because they don't really stop anything but rocks. They okay. just they let the dirt travel right through into your house. Okay. So you should always use at least a pleated filter. Okay. And you can buy it at a local hardware store if you don't have one. You know, and they right. can usually get whatever size you need. So a pleated filter. So pleated. the so the real cheesy, for, you know, ninety nine cent ones aren't the best ones yeah, to use. Yeah, no. You okay. might as well just not have one. Oh, okay. the blue silly string, the hard silly string ones well, see, are, are yeah. bad. But see, the reason why I asked that, I, I, I've, no, I've over I, the years, I I've been told, blues. I've been told that you know you don't want to get those heavy duty, super thick HEPA filter ones because they make they your, they will cause your system to work harder because they exactly. slow the airflow. That's, That's what, what I've heard. I so I was always told get those cheapy ones yeah. and just swap them out every month. But you're saying at least get uh, step at least, it up. Yeah, just go up to it. A pleated. A pleated filter. Okay, cool. That's good information. Could be.